America is a union not only of 50 states, but of more than 320 million people who give the union its strength, character, and spirit. People like Jason Gibson. He'll be sitting with the First Lady tonight, and David Martin has his story. There's a famous poem about flying which begins, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter-silvered wings. It was written during World War II, but it describes Jason Gibson to a T. Once you're up there, you're flying. You can go anywhere. That's what it feels like. And you can see everything. I just love that feeling. On Earth, Jason is tethered to a wheelchair because he lost both legs so high up he cannot wear prosthetics. It happened on patrol in Afghanistan in 2012 when he took a knee and set off a roadside bomb. You must have brought all your vital organs just that much closer to the blast. I'm just lucky nothing, nothing worse happened. <laughs> well, how did you survive? I don't know. It's a miracle. A miracle of medicine and of the human spirit. Since then, Jason has competed in four marathons, hit the slopes in Sun Valley, and cast for trout in Montana. I tell people I've done, done more stuff with my life with no legs than when I had legs. <laughs> but he was still tethered to some sort of wheelchair until he got his pilot's license. In a wheelchair, you're earthbound. Yep, and then there's obstacles, you know, like coming here, you know, the sidewalk's pretty bumpy and it's quite uneven. That doesn't count for buildings that don't have ramps or or other places. No stairs at 20,000 feet. Nope. <laughs> when President Obama visited Jason in the hospital, no one could have imagined he would one day fly. Jason was so tranked on pain meds, he didn't even know it was the president. It didn't register who he was. I, was just, I have his, there's, there's pictures of me just like glaring, <laughs> like who is this guy? What's he doing here? <laughs> Last October, he wrote the president a letter. Saying, you know, when you saw me, I don't know if you remember or not, but you know, here's my life after that point. You know, there is good, you know, from bad things. Jason and his wife Kara performed another miracle, a baby girl. I cried in the operating room when she was born. Just most amazing thing I've seen. Given his wounds, Jason had thought he would never be able to have children, but here, thanks to in vitro fertilization, is Quinn on her way to Washington for tonight's State of the Union address. Wasn't done here on Earth. <laughs> Notice how Jason ends every statement with a chuckle? None of us would envy his condition. All of us should envy his spirit. David Martin, CBS News, Washington.